Novena to the Holy Spirit for the Seven Gifts, Ninth Day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The fruits of the Holy Spirit, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, perfect the supernatural virtues by enabling us to practice them with greater docility to divine inspiration. As we grow in the knowledge and love of God under the direction of the Holy Spirit, our services become more sincere and generous, the practice of virtue more perfect. Such acts of virtue leave the heart filled with joy and consolation and are known as fruits of the Holy Spirit. These fruits, in turn, render the practice of virtue more attractive and become a powerful incentive for still great, greater efforts in the service of God. Come, O divine spirit, fill my heart with thy heavenly fruits, thy charity, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, chastity, and temperance, that I may never weary in the service of God, but by continued faithful submission to thy inspiration, may merit to be united eternally with thee in the love of the Father and the Son. Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees, before the great multitude of heavenly witness, I offer myself, my soul and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I, did, I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness. I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard me every thought mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper in my weakness to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. I implore, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus, who before ascending to heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, grant the same Holy Spirit to me that he may perfect my soul with the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation the spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow in the company of the saints, the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet, and the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the through thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.